Hello YouTube, this is Elder Esquire, and today we are speaking about my new last name, my new surname, Chineke Izen Ulo. I don't want to mean any disrespect to my relatives or to my parents that named me or my parents that named me. I am the firstborn son of a great man whose name I share. I am only celebrating the recovery of my true last name, my true surname. My last name, my surname is Chineke Izen Ulo. It is Ibu name taken from the nations of Ghana and Nigeria in the continent of Africa. The Ibu tribal people are indigenous or original inhabitants of Ghana and Nigeria. My wife, who is also black African from the diaspora, asked me about a new name. I said, you can't change the name your parents gave you, but you can change your last name from the former slave owners. I started researching and felt led of the Lord Jesus Christ to record this new name. In the Western Black African slavery in the U.S., Black African slaves were property and were legally compelled to assume their owners' surnames or last names. The owners sometimes named the individual Black African slave, their first name. My great-grandfather, excuse me, my great-great-grandfather was born a black African slave in the United States South. Because black African slaves in the U.S. were considered property, their birth records were not officially recorded. Then praise the Lord Jesus Christ, the Southern rebels, the Confederacy, lost the U.S. Civil War and the quote-unquote war between the states in 1865. Then began a unique period in United States history from 1865 to 1877. The U.S. attempted to change the legal status and actual living conditions of black Africans and former black African slaves that live in the United States. It was called the Reconstruction Period. Unfortunately, the Reconstruction Period ended in 1877 after only 12 years. Ohio Republican presidential candidate Rutherford B. Hayes lost the 1860, 1876 election. He told the powers that be that if you will allow me to be president, I will remove the U.S. federal troops that are protecting the black Africans in the United States South and the former black African slaves in the United States South. The agreement was accepted. Ohio Republican President Rutherford B. Hayes removed the U.S. federal troops that were protecting black Africans in the U.S. South and former black African slaves in the U.S. South. Then the Klan, with white European supremacist terrorism, took back all political power from the black Africans in the U.S. South 
and the black African former slaves in the U.S. South. In the process of establishing, again, white European supremacy in the U.S. South, the Klan destroyed all legal records. The new legal documents would be reissued under the reestablished white European supremacy in the United States South by the Klan. In 1880, my great-great-grandfather registered himself and his daughter through this process. I know my great-great-grandfather and my great-grandmother. I have met my grandparents on down to my parents, which I know. Cheneke is an Ulu, is Ibu, a Ghanaian and Nigerian tribal people's language. It means God's family. My new last name, my new surname is God's family. I'm in God's family. Cheneke, he's in Ulu. My wife told me that many Ibu people were taken from the continent of Africa and resettled as slaves in the land of her birth. She said her uncle said that she was from an Ibu people. In honor of her, I presented our new last name, our new surname, Cheneke. Izen Ulu. I told her what it means and the reasons for the name. She loves it. So I would like if I have a funeral or memorial service to refer to my father's name and in brackets my new surname my new last name with a full explanation of why I am called Cheneke Izen Ulu. Thank you and have a great day.